The Federal Secretariat in Abuja is usually a beehive of activities, with civil servants passing through this gate every working day. However, the turnout of workers on Tuesday is very minimal as members of the Nigerian Labour Congress begin their warning strike. This entrance to the Federal Ministry of Education was short for about five minutes, denying access for some workers who resumed for duty. However, it was opened after a few moments. The banks are also not exempted as their gates are short. However, the banks are engaging the organized labor. I am aware that the institute was engaging the Nubifre and the Asbifre to ensure that uh, they have a meeting of the mind and be patient with government and go ahead and see how things can be controlled uh, properly. The warning strike did not stop activities at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport. However, activities in Kaduna and Yobe states are partially brought to a halt. I have just came back from monitoring and enforcement, and our team are still out uh, carrying out monitoring to ensure compliance. Uh, we have uh, heeded to the call of the National Secretary, and we are in uh, total uh, compliance with the instruction, and we are on strike. After this three, uh, two days warning strike, if at all government fail to comply, definitely sure we can go for the indefinite, uh, indefinite uh, strike nationwide. In Taraba State, workers also stayed off their duty posts as NLC officials enforced the sit-at-home order. If I go around all the, the, the ministries, if I see any office that is open, I will close it and then go. Nevertheless, the NLC believes the first day of the industrial action was a success. If you watch, our attitude to this is clear and we are certain it. we are happy that without enforcement, people are showing that they are not happy with what's going on, which is very important. Any worker that earns normal living can, is finding it difficult to come to work. The ongoing warning strike is expected to end on Wednesday, September the 6th, after which the NLC say they will continue with an indefinite strike if the federal government refuses to address their demands.